Welcome to the Intel Skype video around the launch of Intel Gateway Solutions for the Internet of Things. Today I'll be speaking with Adam Burns, Director of Strategic Planning and Business Development at Intel's Internet of Things Solutions Group. I'm your host, Brandon Wick. So the big news this week is the launch of Intel Gateway Solution for Internet of Things. What can you tell us about it? Absolutely. We're excited. Uh, we've been working on this product for a while and and really, Gateway Solutions for IoT is all about how we get customers to market faster around uh, developing applications and services for IoT. So we've taken a number of products and technologies from within Intel. Um, our, we start with our scalable microprocessors uh, for performance and, and low power. We add on a Wind River operating system and middleware that gives you all the critical elements to, to manage and, and uh, communicate with IoT devices. And then we add in a critical element of, of McAfee and, and Intel security uh, to really make sure your applications and data are secure when you start talking about IoT applications and services. How does this solution really work? Yeah, so when you look at when you look at IoT, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of existing data out there. Um, a number of you know the, the majority of the market is around unconnected devices, uh, and that's the initial opportunity. So I take this gateway here. This is uh, from one of our initial partners, Advantech. And I can effectively bolt it on to an existing system and start aggregating a, a, a lot of sensor data. So whether you're looking at a commercial vehicle, an HVAC machine, there's hundreds to thousands of sensors in those, those devices. I bolt that on the side and I can start taking data from that system, analyzing it locally and then communicating with the cloud. And so gateways are kind of that intermediary between the data that already exists in the network and the applications and services that really add value for IoT. So, Adam, what are the primary benefits of this new solution? Yeah, I think, it, I think it's a couple fold. Um, so when you look at the kind of the overall Intel solution and the value we bring, we start with a, a scalable processor family. So that gives our customers the ability to, to move up or down depending on their application without having to go rewrite a bunch of software. Um, that's always been a great value of Intel. But when we talk about the, the Intel gateway solutions for IoT, it's really about bringing together all the critical elements and really accelerating our customers' time to market. So an OEM isn't going and recreating the wheel on integrating an OS and integrating security and finding the right hardware. We've got an ecosystem of providers that are ready to deliver, you know, ready-made hardware for their application. And, and we've put all the security elements in there so they can start out with a secure system. And we've got the application environment. So their investment's really focusing on building their value-added applications and services, not creating the wheel on a bunch of uh, foundational building blocks. So why was the Intel Gateway solution developed, and uh, who's it really for? A great question. So there's it, it, it kind of varies across as we look at our customer base. So first, we, look, we work with a number of ODMs who help us get systems out there in the market. Obviously, Intel is providing the, the processors and the software. And so we work with the uh, you know, initial launch partners like ADI, ADLink, Portwell, Eurotech, and Advantech, who are supplying you know, the, the end boxes that end up getting bolted onto these systems. Um, and then you really start to look at the OEMs and, uh, and, and they're who, who add some of the applications and services we're talking about with IoT. Um, so a great example we've talked about in the past, Daikin Applied, you know, they, they attach these to their HVAC systems. They can offer services around uh, predictive maintenance, making sure those systems don't fail. They can offer services around building energy management and really, uh, you know, sort of uh, marrying up the, the energy consumption of the HVAC with the building itself. Um, another great example uh, that we're talking about this week is Venomics. So it's a, a fleet management company, and they uh, they put these things in their commercial vehicles and, and partner with fleet management companies. Um, and really, that's all around uh, fuel savings and energy savings. So how can they train their drivers to to really reserve fuel consumption? And and the numbers there are astounding. Seven percent of fuel consumption is is just huge when you look across the the fuel consumption of the entire fleets in the United States and elsewhere. Thank you, Adam. For more information around Intel Gateway Solutions for the Internet of Things, visit intel.com slash IoT.